a rack at it. It is uh, Friday evening. And what do two very determined people do on a Friday evening? We do not go out and we do not hang out with friends. We work on the greenhouse because time is running short. But there is some really good news that we have with this is that it's Friday. Last time we took you on a tour about, um, last time we took you on a tour on the greenhouse was like last weekend. And uh, I was talking about how we have longer days. Sorry, it might get a little loud right here. Um, that we will possibly be able to go and work in the greenhouse during the week, which we did. We just didn't take you along with us because uh, we just wanted to get some work done. And we did. So we have, we have some progress. Let's see this progress. So we have the gaps filled. Uh, two windows right there. The rest is all just going to be sheeted up. And then we can go around and we have the two windows there. So now we're going to work on kind of uh, tearing that wall apart um, on both sides. And we're going to get to work. Sheldon's actually been getting to work for a while already. I have been distracted with other things, and but now I'm here. Now I better get to work. So what do you think, babe? There's our drawing. That's 21 and three quarter. Yeah. Fifty-eight and three eighths by twenty-one and. We had to go ahead and measure that one window one more time because uh, on the paper it said fifty-eight and three fifths. That was totally my fault. I don't know why I wrote three fifths. I meant to write three eighths, but now we had to go measure because we didn't know if it was three eighths or if it was five eighths or who knows what. So just needed some exercise, I guess. Okay, got to update you guys. We are looking at the spacing and this corner is causing us problems. It comes a lot further into the greenhouse than what we had expected. And so we have to adjust windows again. And right now it doesn't look like we're having much luck. Four and a half, so it needs to be 35 and a half. Is that 34 and a half? Or is that 35? Oh, that's rough estimate, but that's 35. Yeah, so that's not going to work. Cause can, you, can you just measure this back so I can see what we can actually put in there? Does that mean? We have 70 inches. 70 inches. So these four. We're just gonna push them up. Yep. And it's gonna go straight along here. And then I'll have these as extra windows. Yep. Going back to the drawing, I'm gonna just show you what happened. These two windows right here do not fit. Um, reason being is that this section of the wall is coming in too much. We have to worry a little bit about the structure. And so it's coming in too far. These windows are gone, ex -nade. Now we're taking these four windows and we're just going to slide them up. We're going to push them up there and they'll fit in there no problem. <laughs> Your measurement is supposed to be 30 and 3 eighths. Oh, that will go straight up like that. That's real good. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we're back at it. We are in the greenhouse. Uh, we got quite a bit done yesterday evening. Um, we were able to finish the top of that side 
And then we went back over here and we got two window framed up there, two windows framed up there. And of course I shared about how we had uh, ran into some problems um, that just with the way that this, oh, sorry. Just with the way that this um, building was put back together, um, I don't have um, enough space to put in uh, the windows that I wanted to put in on the one side. So we are just doing a little bit of adjusting and then we will be able to uh, fill up this wall. So um, what you're seeing here is you're seeing the two openings and then we're gonna be putting two more windows. They're just a little bit smaller. We're gonna be putting them there right beside it. Um, so that's the project that we're going to be working on now. And then this wall is done. Um, so I expect within, um, half an hour that should be done. Uh, it will be very quick. And then we're going to move over. Hmm, I don't know. We might actually move over here. We're going to be putting that really massive window in there. I showed you a couple of videos ago. Um, this massive window that we got for free, that window is going to be going in there. It's like seven feet by five feet. It's really huge. And uh, so we might be framing that one up next. And then we're gonna head over here and we're gonna get this done. Now, problem, big problem that we have today is that uh, there is a storm on its way here. You might be able to hear if I'm really, really quiet. You can even see with the trees the wind is picking up. So there's a snowfall warning here in our area in central Canada. Um, and we don't have our roof on yet. So we are expecting to be snowed on. And then obviously you can see behind me, you're seeing a lot of sky. And that is because a lot of the plywood that we had, or I don't know, you can call it all different things. I'm gonna call it plywood right now, has fallen off. We're not actually gonna use it, but it was nice for shelter. Um, while we were framing all this up. So that is gone as well. So the wind can get in here pretty well. So we're gonna try and get work done. Sheldon's here, here he comes. Let's get to work. And there we go. That wall is done. That took us like a quick, what was that? Half hour job to just frame up the bottom put all those two by fours in on the bottom and then put in those last two windows good job babe so it's always a good feeling when we move to a new paper a new drawing um seeing we've completed the wall we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this one so obviously what we're looking at is it's actually an outside view of it we're gonna be putting in that window right there so 71 the window is 71 inches across. And I think, was it, what was it, 87? Sidney Crosby. I don't know what Sidney Crosby is. 87. 87. So you're gonna do 89 and a half? So to make this, make this window work, we're actually gonna be using the entire span right from the top of the wall right to the bottom because we want to have two two by fours at the bottom but if we're going right to the bottom babe then would we actually need to go well, no, right to the bottom like then we just need one two by four can i just hold it for you yeah you put against two by four yeah I know it's gonna be amazing. So we just put a, oh. got that. We've got this bolt here, but that's fine. You can like you can cut till there, and then start again and keep going, and it'll just be that little gap right there. Is that terrible. So then I'll just run it over top, over top of this. Yeah. And then we'll sit it on top of there, and whatever happens on the top, we'll figure that out after. Perfect. <laughs> You're good. Do you know what? Do you know what that that situation that we have when the husbands tell their wives that they're beautiful and then the wives point out how big their hips are or how this isn't good enough or how that isn't good enough, and then you guys say, "I would actually just like it if you would say thank you, thank you, babe. thank you so much." 
and they would just accept it. And now here you're doing the same thing. The monster is framed. Good job, hun. Woo. That was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. So I didn't catch it all on camera, but basically what happened was um, this, these uh, two by fours right here, they actually started moving out that way. And so we had to rip it all out because we couldn't hammer it over to get the header on there. And so Sheldon had to pull that all out and that was really annoying because it was very stubborn but yeah that's a massive window it's actually sitting just on the other side you guys are starting to get us the vision of what it's going to look like there will be a whole lot of windows in that corner forever windows so we took a little bit of a break from outside sheldon was starving uh which he's always starving <laughs> <laughs> he is um He's a grazer. You could almost call him a cow. Wow. <laughs> he has to eat all day long. So we took a break. We got a ton of windows done. We only actually have like one, two, three, four, five, six left to do. Um, but I think you guys can see what's going on behind me. I'm going to show you what's going on. So here we have it. Um, I have given my lettuce many opportunities and we are finally growing lettuce and it looks happy so i'm just i continue bottom watering um at the bottom of the tray and it seems to be doing really good all my cilantro love cilantro probably have gone overboard but that's okay if somebody needs cilantro you know where to find me so onions are doing great we've got these here we've got some here and i still just have my spinach here because i don't need the space um i did do other planting uh right now these trays are completely um blank we're not seeing any growth yet but i wouldn't expect to at this point so we have brussels sprouts we have jalapenos uh we have a bunch of different peppers ancho poblanos uh celery and we have red peppers and broccoli baby broccoli um so I've planted a bunch of plants now already for spring. And uh, these are kind of, um, the onions were the first round of planting. All of this that you're seeing here, this is the second round of planting. And then we are going to go to the third round of planting, which will basically, that's gonna be like the last planting that I'll need to do indoors. Um, I have to do some transplanting obviously um because i've i have um these trays so one of these trays right here they have i should go like that one of these trays right here they have six different cells but i've actually planted two plants in each sorry i stepped on my hammer <laughs> oh my goodness sorry. sheldon's in pain poor guy um, so going back to this, are you okay? Step right on the claw. Oh, maybe we'll have to check that one out. Do you need to check it out? I'm not showing Sheldon because he's literally walking around in his long johns. <laughs> Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back. I think he's calmed down a little. Okay six cells in each one of these small little trays and I've planted two seeds in every single one. So I will very likely have to transplant these as we get closer to um, spring. But yeah, everything seems to be doing really, really well. I'm very happy with it. Sheldon and I have a pretty good rhythm going here. I am just here cutting at the table and he is measuring and nailing. And so we have 
two windows in already. The third window is going to go in and then we are done this entire wall. So then all we have left to do is we have this wall and it's one big window and then two windows on the side. And that's it. We actually have two extra windows that we are not going to be using um, because we have run out of wall space. <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> We've ran out of wall space. <laughs> Pretty good. Well, we'll just keep on trucking. We get tired. We are on the last last bit right here. We have that massive window framed up and that corner is going to get two more windows. Sheldon is done. He is done done. He's working very hard not to be grumpy about this and just say, okay, two more windows and we have all the windows framed up. It's just a lot of work. I'm it's... not only framing the windows. Now I'm worried. I'm just like, oh Lord, please help these windows. To fit. I know. When we built this thing, we expected to uh, take so long <laughs> when we started. When we started this thing? Yeah. When we started this thing, I was not, I was not confident of anything. You seem confident. How are you not confident? <laughs> I was excited. Only the start, right? No, we have these ones. Yeah, I know. I need to know that measurement, though. So I was excited, and I knew that we would be able to do it. But I didn't know how hard it was going to be, if it was going to be hard, if it's going to be super easy because like I can go and draw it down on a piece of paper and I can make it look a certain way. But then after a while, like it's, it's beyond that. Like then there's the details and is the, is the building square? Is it going to work? Is like all those things. I just didn't know what to expect really. I, I, I can be a confident person in just imagining that it's going to be a certain way, but yeah, I I knew it was going to be a journey, and I was it was worth it for me to. Now we've got it all framed up, which is huge. Having it framed up is massive. Thirty on the dot. So then, uh, yeah, I just, and then <laughs> I'm just hoping that our rough openings are going to be right and that when we have the windows in that it's actually going to work. So. Okay, but let's be honest. This is where our personalities are very different. Where I'm like, I am confident and, and like trying to persuade both of us that this is like this is gonna work and it's gonna be awesome and we're gonna repurpose this building which we've wanted to do for years. Yeah. And like I can be I can see the vision because I'm just I'm creative that way. I'm very I'm naturally very creative. take the journey and well I am too no I know <laughs> otherwise you wouldn't be doing this <laughs> and I think we have to be honest with that where we have to see that you know not everybody is willing to go on that journey because there's so many unknowns and for us um, 
I think we've learned to respect each other in our strength. I could picture all this. I didn't know how we were gonna get the windows. Are we done? We're done. <laughs> we're totally done framing up this entire greenhouse. That is awesome. So we have, you have to quit hammering. You said we're done. No, stop. I want to share. I want to show everyone. So if we're standing close to center, there's going to be a front door coming in here, which I'm super excited about. That's another creative piece that we're going to go through. So we've got the massive big window. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows going in on that far wall. And uh, then Sheldon counted on the front here. We have 13 massive windows uh, coming in on there. And then we have, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five windows coming in there. That window right there is that massive one that we just found in the garage. Thank you, Sheldon, <laughs> for finding more windows. And then we're putting uh, three windows in here because the wood stove is going right down here, right center. And so we'll just have some windows there, which will be awesome. That will be really awesome for ventilation, right? Like that, yep. we'll be able to open up those windows. But I am so happy with what we have done. I'm happy with how it looks. And this is just a piece of who Sheldon and I are. Uh, we are great partners. Uh, we are able to go ahead and work alongside each other, knowing each other's strengths, knowing each other's weaknesses, and then that just allows us to do great things. So all in all, we dedicated, um, like what was this, five or six days that we ended up working on this? I think it was only five or six days that we actually worked on this. Um, and obviously like this is coming out here, working here two, three hours at a time. Yeah. And, uh, I'm sure a framer could do it way faster, but I'm a absolutely. Absolutely, I'm sure a framer could do it a lot faster and yet you worked so hard at making sure that it was structurally secure and sound that um, we won't have to worry about this building falling down. Uh, he, he definitely knew how to do this kind of stuff a lot better than I did and, uh, and we had to make some adjustments but this is how far we are. So the next step we are going to, are, are we planning to put in the, the roof next? I would actually like to sheet it, but yeah, we could put the roof on next. We're gonna put the roof on next. Uh, we have that tin I showed you last time. We have that tin. So we'll put the tin up. Then it's gonna stop snowing in here. So I think we're done for now. I'm excited too. So Sheldon, are you gonna remember this part? <laughs> just because you're limited doesn't mean you're limited <laughs> just because you're just because you have limitations doesn't mean you're if limited you might have some limitations you might have some limitations but that does not mean that you're limited thank you so much for joining us have a great day